With clean food and water still hard to come by across much of the Gaza Strip, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says progress is being made on getting more desperately needed supplies into the region, citing Israel's reopening of an aid crossing near northern Gaza, one of the hardest hit areas in the nearly seven months of the Israel-Hamas war. Given the immense need in Gaza, it needs to be accelerated. This comes as U.S. Army and Navy personnel continue building a massive floating platform miles off the coast of the Gaza Strip. It will serve as a hub for collecting aid that will be distributed in Gaza. That is probably a week away from being operational. Meanwhile, back here in the United States, anti-war protests continue escalating with demonstrators across major college campuses ramping up calls for a ceasefire and for their schools to divest from companies supporting Israel. Those calls aren't going unnoticed by groups of displaced Palestinians in Gaza. We thank all the students of American universities who stood in solidarity with the Palestinian people in their cause. Hundreds of protesters across the country have already been arrested with anti-war demonstrators at the University of California, Los Angeles, coming face to face with police overnight. Officials ruling Wednesday the pro-Palestinian encampment there is unlawful ordering crowds to leave. Gary Baumgarten, Fox News.